separates me from a lot of people is they go into an, a daunting task, and the task is overwhelming. And I heard the pull-up record was 4,020 pull-ups, and I was talking about breaking this record. People are like, oh my God. I went right to a pen and paper, and what are you doing? I'm doing the math, man. I'm doing the math, man. What are you talking about? I'm doing the math, man. I'm open minded to the fact that, okay, if I do five pull ups in a minute for so many hours, I can get so many pull ups in. How much time do I have to rest? I was breaking the math down. You have to be open minded to the possibilities that I can do this. Once you shut your mind down to the possibility that it can be achieved, there's no way it can happen. So that's why my eyes and my body light up about things, because I know that if you're in a fight, you have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is in front of you. Whatever the fuck is, whatever the fuck is, whatever the fuck is in front of you. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. He must break the soul, whatever the fuck is in front of you. That's what I realized. I was never breaking the soul of anything in front of me. So that's why I came up with the thing called taking souls. I started to devise ways to break a soul of a human being, of an object, of whatever's in front of me. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. Nothing. That's when a lot of stuff started clicking, man. I started watching those instructors on the side. 